Good morning and welcome to my Mary's Mini Day 1. If you're unfamiliar with the Mary's Mini version of the Dr. McDougall diet, I'll post a link to the video where Dr. McDougall and Mary discuss what it is. But basically you pick one starch and you eat that for all your meals for 10 days. The purpose of the mini is to like reset your taste buds, to eat boring food so that you eat only when you're hungry. And like, especially like late night for me, I know is when I always start wanting some fruit, something sweet. And so now it's going to be, oh, you're hungry, have a potato. Still hungry, have another potato. Guess what's for dinner? That's breakfast right now. Anyway, so I spent the first part of my morning meal prepping and now I'm about to have my first meal on my first day of my Mary Mini. So I'm not planning on doing a ton of chatting in this video. I really just want to show my meals and that's going to be, you know, between 30 and 40 meals because I eat like three or four times a day. So... All right, here's meal number one. So here's my first meal. I have my russet potato wedges I did in the oven and some steamed broccoli. A part of the Mary's mini is keeping your condiments really simple so that you're not making your food taste really good with your condiments and then eating more. So no like gravies or cheese sauce or you know things like that. So naturally I'm sticking to my sriracha obsession. And then they also say no sugary condiments which I think of like barbecue sauce, teriyaki sauce, those kind of sauces. And here's my breakfast, all dressed up. Mary's mini day one, here is my second plate of food, which is all potato wedges. <laughs> If you haven't watched my Mary's mini meal prep, I use an apple slicer to slice up my potatoes. And I love the way it makes, uh, I wanted to show you the wedges, but now they're covered. I love how the apple slicer gives me a variety of sizes of wedges and the littler ones get crispier and the thicker ones are crispy on the outside and potatoey on the inside. Here is my third plate of food. I did some mashed yellow potatoes I steamed earlier and some freshly steamed broccoli. I just wanted to mention this black garlic powder seasoning which has an umame flavor and it is amazing. I love this on my mashed potatoes. I actually bought this completely on accident when I was out of garlic powder and this was on sale and I was like, hmm, sounds good, we'll give that a try. And then it ended up being a completely different seasoning and I love it. So that's what my third plate looks like for today, but I will definitely be eating again because it's only about five o'clock.
morning and happy Friday. Today is Friday, May 7th, and today starts day five of my Mary's Mini. I was going to do an update tomorrow when I was officially halfway through, but I'm out of potatoes, so I decided to do a quick check-in today. I had meal prepped 15 pounds of potatoes before I started and that only took me four days to eat and I'm basically out of my non-starchy veggies too. I still have one bag of broccoli left from what I had started with. Now today it's time to meal prep some more potatoes. I'm going to do another five pounds of yellow potatoes and steam them like I did last time. I don't know exactly how many russets this is. I would guess it's maybe six or seven pounds. It wasn't a full 10 pound bag. And I'm going to do those up into the potato wedges like I did last time because that is like, I could eat like fries like that for like every meal. So the only other update I wanted to share today was that I did weigh in, which now I wish I wouldn't have, but I was feeling like maybe I had lost a pound. So I got on the scale and it says I gained two pounds. So I'm ignoring that and I'm just going to stay off the scale for the next like six days and I'll weigh in the morning after my 10 days finishes. So I think my 10th day is Wednesday, May 12th. So I'll weigh in the morning of the 13th. And I think that's it. I just wanted to check in and let you know how long the meal prep lasted, that the weight loss hasn't happened yet, but we're not giving up hope and we're not letting it get us down. And yeah, I'm ready to have a nice relaxing weekend and eat a lot of potatoes, so. going time for a quick day eight update this is my second meal today just potatoes again and with this meal I am now finishing up all of the potatoes that I meal prepped on the morning of day five I do believe and I'm not sure exactly how many pounds of potatoes I meal prepped on the morning of day five I think it was over 10 pounds but anyway this is the end of those potatoes and I'm going to need to do a little bit more meal prep today to make it through the last couple days of my Mary's Mini. I've also gone to the grocery store to buy more things for salads and some more broccoli 
And I think what I have might last me for today and tomorrow. I might need some more stuff for daytime, but I'll probably just do a grocery shop anyway because I am going to want to meal prep some things when I am done with my mini and I get to eat quinoa and bananas again. I can't wait. So that's all the update I had to give today. Just wanted to let you know that I'm meal prepping more potatoes. <laughs> and I will check in again at the end of my mini when I do a final weigh-in and sort of my final thoughts on what it's been like these last 10 days. <laughs> and I have just completed my 10 days and I am so excited to eat a banana for breakfast. You don't even know. So here are my thoughts on the last 10 days. I'll start with my weight loss, which I only lost one pound. And the purpose of a Mary's Mini isn't just to lose weight, but I was hoping to lose more than one pound. In my first weight loss video I posted in March, I discussed that I was kind of bouncing between McDougal's Maximum Weight Loss and the Starch Solution, and I felt like that was like keeping my body happy, like with the amount of food and proportions, and it was helping me lose weight. So I personally think that for myself, when I restrict too much, it makes my body not want to lose weight. And I feel like this last 10 days was kind of restrictive, even though I was allowed to eat as many potatoes as I wanted or needed to feel satisfied, I still feel like I was restricting myself. Like I really felt like I was on a diet for the last 10 days. Whereas when I'm eating like the starch solution or even 50-50 plates, I don't feel restricted at all. I feel like I can eat whatever I want as long as it's whole food, plant-based, no oil and so in a way it brought me back to that restrictive dieting mindset where I start obsessing about food, which is weird because in a way I didn't have to think about food at all for the last 10 days. I literally just had to make sure I had potatoes meal prepped. But then I started thinking about what I was going to eat the first day I was done. And I started thinking about, oh, I'm gonna meal prep all this and I'm gonna, it, I just really could not wait to have a freaking banana and like some of my quinoa taco mix. So I'm not speaking negatively about doing a Mary's mini. I completely understand the point. But for me, I don't like feeling restricted like that. I don't like feeling like I'm on a diet. I like to just feel like I eat healthy and I can eat whatever I want. That's why I love the starch solution and everything about Dr. McDougall's programs. So today I'm going back to the starch solution. I cannot wait to meal prep today. I'm so excited to cook and eat. <laughs> you know, and that has me slightly concerned. Like, am I gonna totally pig out for the next week because of the restriction I just came off of? That's why I don't like intermittent fasting. Another intention of the Mary's Mini is to like reset your taste buds and help reduce the cravings for sugar and salt and I don't know if that really worked because I have been seriously craving fruit daily, but I'm used to eating a banana in the morning and usually a banana in the evening or some oatmeal cookies, healthy oatmeal cookies. <laughs> 
I guess my final conclusion is that I feel like starch solution and the 50-50 plates are what's working best for me and making me feel full and happy and satisfied and not like with all these cravings and not like obsessing about food. I feel like doing the Mary's Mini, although I get the point of it very much, for me personally, it just felt too restrictive and I don't like to be in that mindset. So that's been my experience doing a Mary's mini diet for 10 days. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today to watch this video. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and be well.